Hello everyone, one year ago today, Henry NWR 1911 aired its first video, and in commemoration of have, celebrating one year on YouTube, today I am going to be showing you my studio, e.g. my room and what it looks like. Let's start from the very beginning. You all probably have seen this view maybe a little bit before. I got my TV right here with a Roku and this VCR DVD combo my grandmother very nicely gave me when this old TV VCR I had went to ship. And up here we have have my dresser, the remnants of my Brendam Docks display, you can see, because I have Cranky still there. And this huge-ass warehouse, it's a little cement mixer. You, you can see, this is the remains. I can't wait to feature Brendam Docks in my series. And here we go to the, my table, which is currently being used to hold Tidmouth Sheds, and is being stage to film the next episode of Thomas the Tank Cannon and Idiots Negate Neville. And you can see my Play Rail Henry model. That is my current model for Henry. This was where Wellsworth Station with Sodor Airport was back in book one. And once that has remained consistent, the smelter's yard, which I also used for the ironworks on the mainland in, um, the return of Smudger. We have some non-Thomas related home media stuff where I'm going to add some trash movies I found like um, Disaster Movie, Date Movie, and Epic Movie, and among others. Various is props you may or may not see in my series. And this is currently the town of Knapford I'm trying to build. And Knapford Station, this is also being used to film Negate Neville. And down here we have various buildings that have been seen across different episodes of my series. You can see that's the prison I used for Tidmouth and Peel Godric. Here is a bin with more or destinations for the series. And we have some interesting stuff. Down here we have some props like this Henry's Tunnel I made with my grandmother when I was younger. And Neville's Bridge, which is currently in its broken form. And here we have the current urn setup for the Henry Shrine, a place where I'll have many, any items dedicated to my favorite character from Thomas, Henry. You can see my two childhood Henrys, the Henry and the Elephant DVD, The Sounds of Sodor, my Echo Thomas Comes to Breakfast, the 60th Anniversary Henry, still new in box, and the Complete Railway series. I'm also using it to host some props right here, like the Ice Cream Factory. And we have my Thomas Home Media Collection. Pretty, pretty big. You can see yeah, I now have um, all the way up there. You can see 90s Brent of James Words a Lesson and Tenders and Turntables. And you can also see Jet Engine, Great to Be an Engine, and Hooray for Thomas. And the various DVDs I've also collected as a child. And my Christmas tree that I literally just keep out year round because, of course, I do. Had this since childhood. And here is my green screen stand that you may or may not have seen in a previous live stream. This desk is where the first shot of Henry NWR 1911 was commissioned. Put it up on the screen. And here we have my gaming setup. It's not very good, but eh, it's something. This is part of where Harlem Heights used to be. That is now uh, randomly built as the sets go on. The remains of episode 29 being shot, and a lovely view out these blinds Eyes of my home. And we're going to go to probably the best part of all, the display zone. Here, you, here are my various boxes. It is from Thomas Monroe Destinations I've gotten in the past. 
some destinations out there. You can see the cement works. I think I've had that appear in my series. When I get Fergus, it's going to be used more often. The express coaches, I got in a train show where tons of my track is. Don't know what that's supposed to be. You can see this classic Thomas lunchbox and this blanket I've had since childhood. This is where I've, I shall put my play rail engines when they're not in use and you can see my wells work. You can see Neville with track and breakdown train. And up here, oh boy, you can see the one of the talking railway sets, Maithwaite. I like that, and I think I might collect the Great Waterton and Morgan's Mine from that series. Ertle, or my Ertles are shell. And then my long panning of all my wooden railway props. Some of them, and you haven't seen because they're out for filming. Filming. But, you see my limited edition, still new in package, along with even more boxes. I tell you, I'm a collector. I'm a take along and tick and play collection. Some custom vehicles along with the tugboat. And my very special props. And my lovely bed that I spend a lot of time on while I'm editing my videos. So, this was just a raw studio tour I wanted to do, do where I showed off all of my various props and engines. I genuinely want to thank all of you for subscribing and joining me on this journey. Like, you, you all know who you are. You're all lovely people. I cannot tell you how grateful I am and for you subscribing because I make content for fun. On end. I don't think I'm going to be rich and famous from YouTube one day, but I sure as hell would love to be. E I mean, I think we all do. In addition, I would like to do one last thing where I give shout outs to everyone, pretty much many different people in real life and, and online who have helped me with my channel along the way. Starting with my online friends, one of the OGs, Oliver11GWR, he was the first friend I made in the Thomas community. Unity, I discovered an echoed copy of the Thomas Comes to Breakfast VHS, and we talked, talked about it on Discord, and we now talk on Discord every now and then about random Thomas home media stuff. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, then there's... There's another one of my besties, Ripoff Productions, the girl who got me into voice acting by I offering me a role in voicing Henry in one of her productions. Actions. Now, thanks to her, I have an interest in voice acting and can single-handedly do impressions of completely irrelevant movie characters in terrible movies that star SNL stars, but ugh, that was such a weird thing. And I also got some other besties like Neilfan18, Slow King, Dane, and other people that I met when she invited me to a group chat with her other friends. And next up, the bestie Cedric Isle Productions, or as he's known on Twitter, Angel Forlas. And by God, is he an angel? Well, he's a normal human like us, but he's a great person. He makes some of the best Thomas music you will ever hear. Seriously, go subscribe to him now. And he's just generally a nice guy to talk to. Octu, he's always like, if you ever need some music for your series, Henry, I got it. I genuinely don't know where I would be without Cedric. Cedric. Another close friend I'm going to bring up is PercyFan1998. You may remember him from the live stream we did back in January. He, and the stream crashed midway through on my end, and he had to hold the fort down. I tell you, he could genuinely carry a whole stream. He is based. Aced. And, yeah, those are my main online I'm friends I want to shout out, but there are many, many more I could mention to anyone who subscribed and supported my channel throughout the past year. Y'all know who you are. You're amazing. Now I'm going to mention some of my online, my real life people who, 
have supported my channel. Not my real life, just real life people who have supported. My mom, she is the person who supports my entire Thomas collection. My videos are shot at her house. She is the whole reason this channel exists at all. All, all every year in February, we go to a train show. It's where I got uh, Molly right here and Neville. Oh, and also this bad boy. And she actually he reminded me of the Play Rail Henry, which I got for Christmas. And I also want to give a shout out to my brother. He got me into Thomas from a young age, and we have the fondest memories of watching Miss Oliver and Blossom together. It brings me joy just hearing people remember Moab. Ab. And even though some people, many people at my school don't know that my secret channel, which is what I dub this channel, is a Thomas channel, and they're still very supportive of it. I'd like to, you know, shout out these these really nice gym teachers who are very supportive of my voice acting talent. Well, maybe except the childish one who I wouldn't give a brownie. I'm sure she's about as enthusiastic about my channel as Series 6 Baldwin. Aldwin. <laughs> but yeah, I've I've confided in in the three other ones about my voice acting, and they're really supportive about it, asking me how my projects are going. And one of them I might be distributing the clues to, because he recognized a piece of music I may or may not be planning to use in my videos was in the live-action Transformers movie and actually understood when I told him that my series has a very South Parkish vibe to it. That's kind of what I interpret my Thomas the Tank Cannon and Idiot series. He's, my digital arts teacher is also worthy of a shout-out. Out, out as you know I just gave her the clues and my military history teacher is also oh awesome and I'm giving him a shout out I hope you're watching this right now ow you're awesome um, and uh, and a good few of my colleagues colleagues at work I'd like to shout out two of my colleagues recommended me to watch a movie crash which it which had two scene recreations that I used for the series. And one of them also gave me the name of Harlem Heights, which, if you want to know where that name comes from, they gave it to me. In addition, I'd also like to shout out one colleague I have who's genuinely... She's got this maternal snap to her. Like, she just has this mother-knows-best energy. She's helped me with bus person which is something I dislike intensely. I hate that, like, Thomas hates his snowplow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and she's actively told me that I'm one of the only people there that goes out of my way to help others. And she's always more than happy to help me. I tell you, she's actually giving me major Emily vibes. Ibs. Ibs, because, you know, Emily's got that maternal energy, even in the hit era. But yeah, those were the main in real life people and online friends I wanted to give shout outs to. To everyone else, you all are awesome. Y'all know who you are. I appreciate each and every one of you for helping me on this channel throughout the past year. And here's to hopefully another year on this channel. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and Subscribe to all of the other friends that I mentioned to you because, you know, they're awesome. And I'll see you all in the next one.